Week six of the NFL schedule is very, very weird. In one corner, you have America's Game of the Week. And in the other corner, you have America's Game of the Week. As in W-E-A-K. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jared Gear, and I represent the 904 from the 602. And today, we are once again talking about the NFL schedule, as we do every hour on the hour here on this channel for today. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss some of the action when we do post a video. Because, as you can probably tell, we've got a lot of videos today on this channel, a lot to dissect with this schedule, including Week 6, where Fox has the doubleheader. And their marquee game that week is the Detroit Lions against the Dallas Cowboys after the controversial ending between the two teams last year in that Monday night football game. They're going to play at 425 on Fox, which obviously makes a ton of sense. People want to watch the Lions and people want to watch the Cowboys. And don't take my word for it. Take ESPN's word for it. Because according to the ratings, that game drew 25.6 million viewers in week 17 last year. That is up 92% from ESPN's comparable Week 17 game, and it was one of the top three most-watched games in Monday Night Football history since 1997. So over the last quarter century, that was one of the highest-rated games and most-viewed games of all time. So Fox obviously wanted that game. That's going to be Burkhart and Brady on the call. It still feels weird seeing Burkhart and Brady, not Burkhart Olsen, but Burkhart and Brady on the call for that game. And that'll be shown in the vast majority of the country. But I'm a bit confused why it's not being shown in the entire country. I'm a bit confused by the strategy here by Fox and the NFL. It seems like this was Fox's call, though, in the grand scheme of things. I'm a bit concerned, or not concerned, but confused by their strategy here. Because this is not the only game that they were airing at 425. You will not get Lions-Cowboys in certain parts of the country... Because they are airing the game alongside that between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. Yes, the Falcons-Panthers game is taking place at 425 on Fox, right up against Lions-Cowboys. So the southeast part of the country, or at least on that coast in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and parts of Virginia, they won't be able to get the Lions-Cowboys game, so it's not being shown in the entire country. It's America's Game of the Week, but it is not being shown all across the country. I'm a bit confused. Why did Fox do this? Honestly, why is that game airing at 425 and not 1 o'clock? Why are they just not showing Cowboys Lions to the entire country? You can't say if you do this, there's too many games for Fox at the 1 o'clock window because it'd be different if Fox had 5 or even 4 games as it was and then you throw in Falcons-Panthers to the 1 o'clock window and now they have 5 games or they have 6 games and be like, okay, that's a lot of games. That's a lot of splits we have to make across the country. We're going to take off a lot of people in border zones where you don't know what team you're going to get. It, it, it would not be great. It would not be great to have a split like that. You don't want too many games at the same window because you just eat into each other. So that would make sense at least. But they don't. They only have three games that week in the early window as it is. Those three games are the Cardinals against the Packers, the Buccaneers against the Saints, and the Browns against the Eagles. So you go from three games to four games, that's not an issue for the 1 o'clock window. Networks air four games in the 1 o'clock window all the time. They're literally doing that the week after this. Literally in week seven, they are showing four games in the 1 o'clock window. So you can't even use that as an excuse. You can't say, well, if you move that game, there's too few games in the 4 o'clock window, and you wouldn't have a good split. I would get that argument if this move to put Falcons-Panthers at 1 o'clock and not 425 would mean you only have two games in the later window. You have a 405 game on CBS and a 425 game on Fox, and that's it. You don't want two games in the late window. There is actually no situation this year, which is good, where there are only two games in the late window. But that's not the issue, because if this move was made, you would still have three games in the late window, because CBS with a single header... They have Chargers, Broncos, and Steelers, Raiders, and then Fox would have Lions, Cowboys, and you'd have seven in the early window, so it would be a 7-3 split. And 7-3 splits are fairly common practice and fairly standard procedure. It's happening in week 7, literally the week after this. Happening in week 10, week 12, week 13, week 14. 7-3 splits are nothing. 
It actually goes as high as a 10-3 split in week two. That's a lot. I, th I think 10-3 split is a bit outrageous, but it does go as high as 10-3. A 7-3 split is fairly normal, and if you move Falcons-Panthers to 1 o'clock instead of 425, and you show Lions-Cowboys in the entire country, every Fox station gets it, it, it wouldn't impact the schedule at all. Now, you can't say it's because they don't want the entire NFC South playing at the same time. I would get that if that was the reason, because, look, that region is so geographically compact, it's probably outside of the NFC North, the neatest division in football in terms of how close the cities are to each other and how close the geographies are with each other. You don't want TV overlapping with each other so that there are going to be some places where it's like, oh, I really want to watch this game, and now I get this game instead because we're all like a border city. But that's not the case, because in week four, all four teams in the NFC South are playing at the same time on Fox. At one o'clock in week four, you have Bengals-Panthers, you have Saints-Falcons, you have Eagles-Bucks. All those games are taking place on Fox. If anything, that's worse than this, because that's three separate games in that region of the country, and not two, because the other game, besides the game between the Falcons and the Panthers, is the game between the Saints and the Buccaneers. So if anything... That is even worse, and they're still doing it. So none of the excuses hold water. None of the excuses add up. And on top of that, it's not like Fox can do this. We know that you can televise a game all across the country as America's Game of the Week. You know how we know this? Because we literally saw Fox do that last year with Cowboys Bills in Week 15. That was the only 425 game they aired, and that was fine. We saw Fox do that in 2019 with Packers Cowboys in Week 5. We saw CBS do that in 2022 with Chiefs Bills in Week 6. And we know that they didn't change the rules because Fox is doing that later in the season with Cowboys-Eagles, and they're also doing it literally the week after this with Lions-Cowboys in Week 7 when they have a rematch of Super Bowl 58 on their network with the Chiefs against the 49ers. Tony Romo will not be able to blow a call in that game, I can tell you that much. So we know that it's possible that you can show Lions-Cowboys across the entire country, and you can show it in front of literally every household in America if you wish. And the game draws great ratings. We saw that last year. These are two teams that people want to watch. Why do you have Falcons-Panthers going up against that on your own network? Why not put that game at 1 o'clock and just show Lions-Cowboys across the entire country? I feel like Fox is leaving money on the table here for no reason whatsoever. I feel like Fox is just leaving money on the table. I, I don't get why you wouldn't put Falcons-Panthers at 1 o'clock and then put Lions-Cowboys at 425 because the combined ratings by showing Falcons-Panthers at 1 in the markets of Atlanta and Carolina, you showed that versus showing a random game in those markets and then showing Falcons-Panthers at 425 there versus the alternative of Falcons-Panthers in the local markets at 1 o'clock and then they get the 425 Lions-Cowboys game, and the entire country gets to watch it. I feel like they're leaving money on the table here, and I'm not sure why they're doing that. I don't think it makes any sense for Falcons-Panthers to be a 425 game on Fox when Lions-Cowboys might be the most attractive NFC matchup on the schedule that Fox has this year, and they're not going to show that in the entire country. There are going to be parts of the country that don't get that game on over the air TV, and from a ratings perspective, I'm just not sure how this makes a ton of sense and why they couldn't put Falcons-Panthers at 1 o'clock instead. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that they will change their mind on this? Because remember, starting week 5, you can adjust the schedule. Do you think they will adjust the schedule like this? Do you think this was an oversight on Fox's part? A mistake on Fox's part? Do you think this was the right move or the wrong move by Fox? How do you think that Lions-Cowboys game and that Falcons-Panthers game will go? How do you think all those four teams will do this year? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. And that is going to do it for this episode of JJ9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out my main channel, Jaguar Gear 9, where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jaguar Gear 9 signing off. And as always, go Jags.